Hey guys, Coach Shane here, Developing Prospects Baseball. If you guys are new to our channel, be sure to check out our other videos. On this channel, we are a YouTube channel based on baseball drills and tips. It's free information for you guys. I'm Coach Shane, I'm a former professional baseball player with the Cincinnati Reds. My partner on this channel, Coach Matt, he was a collegiate baseball player. We're here to give you guys information that we wish we would have had when we were playing baseball back in the day. Today, this video that we're gonna be jumping into is a pre-pitch baseball step that I think all infielders should be doing. What I mean by this is when the pitcher is actually throwing the home plate, this is the actual step that we're going to be taking as infielders to make sure we're getting to more baseballs than we even thought we could have. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so the first position we're going to be starting at is third base. This applies to first baseman and third baseman. These are the hot corners, as we like to call them in baseball. And so with this pre-pitch step that we're going to be taking at third base is when the baseball is being thrown to home plate, us as infielders have to be in a good athletic position and especially at third base and at first base we have to make sure that we're getting low so as the baseball is coming what we're going to do is we're going to time the pitcher up as he goes to release that baseball so once he gets into this position as he's going we should be up in the air and ready to land so in real time it's going to look like this we're going to be here and then we're going to jump and when we land we're on our toes we're making sure that when that baseball is hit we can get to that baseball and the difference between third base and first base compared to up the middle is there's not as much reaction time so what we want to make sure that we're doing is when we land here we are low to the ground we want to make sure we can get to the baseball to our left as well as to our right so again what we're doing is we're trying to focus on when we land we're getting into the most athletic position as we can so we're getting here we're landing and then we are ready to go we are low again like we emphasize on this channel we work from low to high not high to low so if we're getting into our athletic position and we land and we're high if that baseball's hit at us and as we know like i said this is the hot corner so we have to make sure that we're low so we can get to that ball if we land here that baseball's hit at us we have little chance of actually getting to that baseball by the time we get down to that baseball it's going to be too late and it's going to get by us so what we another thing that we want to remember is when we are at third base we are not only landing in this position but it's okay to do a drop step like i've talked about in the outfield if that baseball is hit at us it's okay to land here and go into this position and kind of work with that baseball but if we get into that position and we're high and we try to work high at that ball again we're going to have no chance it works the same way when it comes to being on our backhand if we land we could be here and we can work with that baseball but we have to make sure that we are staying low one last thing at the hot corner that I want you guys to really remember is that we're not as concerned with you guys getting the baseballs that are about 10 to 15 feet to our left or to our right. Normally we're at the corner and we're expected to get those hard baseballs. So the goal with us being at third base is making sure, as I stated earlier, that we are getting to the baseballs that are hit hard to us to our left and to our right by being low. All right, now we're up the middle. When it comes to second base and shortstop, this applies to kind of the same similar situation. So again, we're talking about the pre-pitch step. And when it comes to being up the middle, this is the most important thing as an infielder. We wanna make sure that you guys are getting to more baseballs than you even thought you could, and this pre-pitch step is gonna be the reason you guys do that. So again, as that pitcher is coming and he's going to release that baseball, we're gonna be walking into that step. And again, as he goes, we're landing in this position and we're landing on our toes. And as middle infielders, we're gonna work laterally. So as I land, I'm either gonna be landing in this position and ready to go low this way, or I'm gonna be landing into this position and ready to go this way. And with this pre-pitch step, you guys are gonna be able to now work behind the baseball and through it when it comes to throwing the first base. And if we start walking over to second base, it's the same idea. And what you guys are gonna notice is back when I played baseball with the Reds, I like to replicate my game after, after Dustin Pedroy. He was my idol when it came to baseball. And I'll have a little quick video that you guys are gonna see that's gonna come onto the screen right now. And this is gonna show what he does before every single pitch. And if you watch him, he gets pretty high up in the air, but he gets to a lot of baseball. He's a small guy. I think he's about five, six, five, seven. Maybe I'm giving him a little extra credit or maybe I'm not, but he gets to more baseballs than I think a lot of middle infielders ever did. And the reason is because he is in attack mode. When he lands and he is in this position, he is able to now go back to baseballs. He's able to go behind baseballs. If he was to land defensively and if he, if he was to land on his heels, he would have no chance getting to these baseballs. But again, 
us as middle infielders, we are in attack mode. We now are gonna be able to get to more baseballs because we are landing on our toes. This applies to the same thing at second base, just as I said with shortstop. We're gonna be waiting for the pitcher to throw home. As he does, we're landing here and from here, we're attacking either way. I want you guys to really remember, this is something that you practice over time. When it comes to you guys being in batting practice, you don't even have to be fielding ground balls. Just work on timing when it comes to the actual, the BP thrower throwing a home plate. As he goes to home plate, just mess around with it. You can get here and you guys are gonna notice as you do this more, it's gonna become more natural for you guys. And what I want this to actually develop into is when an actual baseball is fouled off. I'm not saying put into play, I'm talking fouled off in foul territory. Because you guys are in attack mode, when that actual hitter fouls that ball off, you're landing and you're knowing where that baseball is going because we're in attack mode. I don't want us to be, when that baseball is fouled off, we're in this position. We're not ready for that baseball. If we are truly in attack mode, when that guy goes to foul that ball up, regardless if that baseball is going over the third base dugout, the first base dugout, I want you guys playing with it. And this goes to the same thing in BP. You're landing. Hope you guys got something out of this video today. Do not forget to turn on that notification bell so you guys get notified anytime Coach Shane, me, or Coach Matt puts out more baseball videos for you guys. And remember, we are here to help you guys. If you guys have any other baseball topic videos that you guys are interested in us putting out, let us know and maybe we'll feature you guys or we'll actually do a video regarding that topic. Here at Developing Prospects Baseball, we're here to get you better. Hope you guys enjoy the time. Hope you guys are staying safe out there and have a good day.